just saw what happened at Coney. What was that? Well, uh, remember my friend Harry? Yeah? That was him? How? Honestly, no idea. I think it's his treatment he's been... Oh, that's Harry. Gotta go. Hey, I cleared out the foundation. All right, I'll swing by. <laughs> swing by. Man, how many times have you said that in it literally? Gotta meet up with Harry and find out more about his suit. My pleas for peace have been rejected by calls for violence. From? You know it! Spider-Man! An attack on what was once a destination for enjoyment now stands desecrated and defiled. Our cherished Coney Island was victim to a free-for-all brawl destroying iconic attractions and history itself. Some of my fondest memories were at Coney Island. My father used to buy me the nickel pop and hot dog combo, and I, like any self-respecting American, would over and dump. Now, it's all been changed. To make matters worse, Spider-Man seems to have brought a new friend along for his night on the town. Just what this city needs. Another vigilante to take the law into their own hands. One person wasn't enough for you to corrupt Spider-Man. You need two acolytes to do your bidding. Add to the pile of unpleasantness the hunters and reformed criminal Lonnie Lincoln, a.k.a. Tombstone, and you have a recipe for the ruination of any normal person just trying to have a night out. These hunters are clearly after the Spider-Man and any of their accomplices. They're as much a blight on this city as the heroes protecting it. I'm sure old glory Mayor Grant loves what this does for tourism. That's a lot of... Peter, thanks for your help here. As before, we're training the drones to identify predators like rats and people, so they can guard the bees' nesting boxes. Okay, let's get things booted up. Time for target practice. Bee Bodyguards, Queen's Edition. Giving you meaning to Queen's Bee. Good one. These are Queen's Bees, but not to be confused with Queen Bees. Identify Predator Detected. Uh-oh, what's that? Better go check that out. Going after the nests, trying to eat the bees. Aha, Neuropathy albicollis, a white throated bee eater bird. It's right there in the name. I need to shoot this bird back to wherever it came from. I wonder if this drone has a real world mode. Cool. Now I can really encourage this bird to get going. Perfect. This is enough to annoy the bird, but not hurt it. If I can find out where it came from, I can see if there are others. Hey, bird! I can't follow you if you don't move. Get going! I'm giving you a little push. Mush! Mush, birdie! Keep it moving, buddy. You gotta shoot him to scoot him. Can't have you eating up the bees of queens, or the queen bees. Huh, so 
So this is your home. You must have escaped from here and gone out for a snack. Doors propped open. Better close it before you escape again. Got it. Okay, I think I'm done for now. The drone will pilot its way back to home base in no time. I'm not sure bee-eating birds are a citywide threat, but I'll mention it to Dr. Young. We should definitely program the drones to look for outliers like that. There's a prowler stash nearby. There it is. We might have to move that somewhere else. Open up plenty of these before. Don't mind if I do. Another one down. You should not have come to Guys, guys, guys! If you're gonna ambush, be sneaky, alright? Right. Hunters did come after his tech. Everything good, kid? Got a few unauthorized access attempts for my stash in the shipping yard. Ran into Craven's hunters. You were right about them wanting your tech. They must be real good if they found it. I think your dad wasn't able to. Dad? It was the first showdown between Officer Jefferson Davis and Prowler. Had to hide in that shipping container for hours just to lose him. Almost wish he'd caught me right then and there. I never wanted him to get involved. Well, I'm glad you're out of the game now. Stay safe, punk. Same, man. We'll do. Data Cast Clan, let's talk about Coney Island. First off, the latest news from first responders is many injuries, but no fatalities. Small blessings. But we have got a lot of unknowns. Who perpetrated the attack? Who was the man who helped Spider-Man? I've gotta be honest, folks, this is giving me not good flashbacks to the underground and rocks on brawls of last year. Here's hoping that with two Spider-Man in town, we can steer away from more citywide chaos. Anyone who tells you these things happen for a reason should be cursed with wet socks. Breath. Another prowler stash around here. <laughs> Maybe I should make some spider stashes around the city. Need a better angle to pull that unit up. Lasers? Unk's been watching way too many bad spy movies. No way Prowler crawled through those lasers without a fail safe. Something here has to deactivate that laser field.
There you are. Found my stash out in Hunter's Point, where I was first training ground. Wait, really? I had to test out my tech somewhere secret. How'd you get the hang of your powers? I actually did the same thing. <laughs> Maybe we all related out. Yeah, except you stole your tech and I got bitten by a radioactive spider. You know, you still owe me the whole story there. Because I've had a million spider bites. Never ended up with the walls. <laughs> Sorry. Fair enough. Thanks for grabbing the stash, kid. At least with robots, I don't have to hold back that much. Not to brag, but I could have programmed those way better. the criminal who went to prison and came out a better person? Me either! But that's what Quentin Beck would have us believe. After his numerous crime sprees, <laughs> who could forget when he made Spider-Man look like a moron chasing an imaginary flying bus of school children while he made off with two million in diamonds? He finally landed himself where he belonged, behind bars. <laughs> Now he's out and wants us to accept him back into society as a fully rehabilitated individual. Let me tell you something. I know one thing to be 100% certain. People do not change. Once a criminal, always a criminal. I don't know if this was a clerical error in our judicial system, but there is no way this man has paid his dues and repented for the damage he's caused. Do not trust this con artist. Attend his attractions at your own risk. And while we're at it, I could think of two other costume criminals that belong in prison with Beck. But that's for another podcast.
Hey! Hey, Pete! Watch this! Uh... Woo! Oh! Oh. You okay? Come on. Let's see what else this thing can do. What are you doing? Science, buddy. I'm doing science. <laughs> so, Spider-Man, you told MJ, but not your best friend? To protect you. I, I wanted to. Right. Yeah, I get it. And that kid you're tutoring, he's the other one? Uh, a lot happened while you were in that tank. Trust me. I know. <laughs> nice and gentle. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make some coffee. It looks like it's gonna be a long night. What the hell happened here? Um, we were, we were just, um, uh, doing some experiments. Where's Dr. Connors? Uh, maybe he took the day off? No. He doesn't take days off. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Yeah, I'll call you later. I need a minute. Harry's got superpowers? This is all happening so fast. Wait, what's that? Hey guys, I'm getting a strange spider bot signal. You got that too? Uh, Genki, you testing something? I was just about to call you guys. A bunch of them just pinged the network out of nowhere. They're using some funky wireless protocols. I'll check it out and let you know what I find. Sharp. Uploading info to the Spidey server. Got it. I'll keep an eye out for more. Send me the data when you find them. I'll try to track down who made them. Hey, long night? Hey, MJ. Harry and I stayed up doing tests on his suit. And we may have had too much pizza. It was really nice. <laughs> Just like the good old days. So I gotta know, what's <gasps> Harry's radioactive spider? I've never seen anything like this before. It's some kind of exosuit that completely eradicates any trace of his disease. Dr. Connors really outdid himself this time. That's incredible. And great timing, considering what happened at the park. Any leads on where they might have taken Tombstone? Not yet. But if I hear anything, you're my first call. Oh, you're the best. Yeah, I know. Okay, what's next? We still haven't figured out who made that weird spider bot. Hey, Yuri. I tracked the followers of the flame to an abandoned clinic in China. We go together, maybe we'll find their boss. So you can leave them to die too? Not unless I have to. 
Look, this cult needs to be stopped. You want to come along, it'd make things easier. But I don't need you. If I went, I could keep an eye on her. Someone needs help with a photography project. Not sure how Spider-Man can help, but... I'll give it a try. Spiders, got something for you. Head to this location. Felicia? Hey, Felicia. Heard some chatter about the steel foundry in Williamsburg off a radio I swiped from those hunters. Sounds like tombstones there. We could use your help. Thanks. Glad you're all right. Did you make it to Paris in time? Yeah, I did. Figured I owed you one. Both of you. Even if the other Spider-Man couldn't be bothered to make an appearance. Uh, yeah. About you can the... save the explanation. We've both moved on. He's a good one, by the way. He really is. Well, thanks for the tip. I'm not sure I'd be able to find Tombstone in time without you. Yeah, thanks. Take care of yourself. Those fashion school rejects won't be getting the drop on me again. Ta-ta, spiders. Miles, let me take this one. You're gonna miss your essay deadline. What if... If Lee's there, I'll take care of it. Spider-Man can wait. Miles can't. All right. Just keep in touch. Hope Felicia's lead was right. Gotta get to Tombstone before Craven crosses him off his list, too.
Not bad at all. Hello, Governor. Sorry. Hello to you as well. Ah, uh, I wanted to get a candid shot. I want to be a real photojournalist, you know? Document the city as it is. Like this photo, captured by Peter Parker. That was his first cover photo way back in the day. I want to do that. Oh, wow. Can't believe you have this. First cover. I think I actually remember when he took that. Mr. Jameson? It's Peter Parker. I called about selling you some photos. 
See, my uncle just passed and our mortgage is due and... Parker, I didn't ask for your life story. Sorry. I'm sitting outside the bugle finishing my coffee. If you can get here before I'm done, I'll look at your photos. But I'm warning you, I drink fast. I'm Mr. Jameson. I'm biking down Fifth. The traffic... If you want something, you go after it. But... Tell me something. Are you a New Yorker or some slack jawed tourist? Um, New Yorker? Then when something's in your path, you yell, coming through! Hey, and if something blocks you, Lord's go around. New Yorkers always find a way. Do you know why people live in this town? Is it the cheap rent? The low cost of living? No. This godforsaken hellhole is the greatest city ever created. Oh, no. Fish. Stop looking for an excuse and keep going. Uh, the smell. Oh, no. Construction ahead. I'll never get it. Eyes on the prize, Parker. Excuse me? Can I come through? You're a New Yorker. Tell them you're coming through. Say, look out, halfwit. These are my streets. Hey! Halfway! So sorry, excuse me! Scooting by! Uh, Parker? Pathetic! Be a man about it! Show them your manhood! <laughs> yes, sir! Weeks. Wait, what? Hey, beat it! Two-wheeled Almost there. I'll cut through Washington Square Park. I'm a few steps away from killing this coffee, Parker. You better haul ass. Kid's gonna get himself killed. Thanks. Stop sounding so timid. Sorry. And stop uh, apologizing. Sorry. I mean... Focus on the road. But you said... Focus! Time, Parker. Act like you live here. Be a New Yorker. Hmm, a million people in this city, sweetheart. Spidey ain't coming. Yeah. Hey, leave him yeah. alone. What'd you say, you little toothpick? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what are you, a tourist slack mouth? <laughs> Just kidding. Wow. This guy's trying to be uh. me. You want some dirt in your face? <laughs> like both eyes! That would really hurt! Shut that mouth or I'm gonna shut it for you! <laughs> He's going back. Uh, 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 tear you apart, you little nerd. Did your mom knit that ski mask for you? Cause it's really cute. Seriously. What'd you say, you little punk? <gasps> the bigger you are, the that you're fat. I didn't mean that. Twist your little pinhead off! You better go home to your mama and, like, apologize. You making fun of me? This is my city! Everyone's city, but... We definitely don't want you messing it up for the rest of us! I did it! I 
It was fun, even. You okay? I am. Because you stopped to help. Thanks. Looks like they roughed up my bike, too. How will I get to the bugle in time now? Uh-oh, my photos. All but one of them are ruined. May needs this money. And I need this job. I can do this on foot. I have to. Out of the way! I'm a New Yorker! Coming through, people! <laughs> come on, come on! Where is he? <laughs> Mr. Jameson? Peter Parker. You're late. I have something you're gonna want to put on the front page of the Bugle. Cocky little guy, aren't you? Just trying to wear my confidence on the outside. Like a New Yorker. Parker, this is terrible. Your lighting is flat, your composition is awful. God knows why you're shooting on film like some kind of caveman. And your nose is bleeding. But you're in luck. I need a picture of the spider creep for tomorrow's front page. Congratulations! You're officially a Bugle photographer. Really? Thank you, sir. You won't regret it. Are you okay? Because you've been staring at that for like five minutes. Yeah, yeah. So, can you tell me how to meet this guy? Peter Parker? You don't want his career. You want yours. But what I can tell you is that he learned to go after what he wanted. And if one route didn't work, to find another way around. Okay. I'll find another way. Give me an action shot I can bring to the Bugle. Oh, well, sure. This good? Yeah, and when you jump, angle left so I get your silhouette. I, I will. You got it. Ready, set... Jump! Go, Spidey! See you next time! Look out, turkeys! New Yorker coming through! to break it to you, but the beach is that way!
Finally. I lose the creeps. Open up this crystal in peace. Home. Walk through the front door. But you're not there. They are. What have they done to you, Kimia? Craven's real twisted for putting Marco's kid in the middle of all this. Gotta look for more crystals to find out what happened. Marco's my... Is returning and he's agitated. The doctors are piecing together what happened. It, it sounds like it's not all his fault. I'll let you know if I hear more. stash some tech near the stadium? should reveal the stash. power to something. Whoa. Looks like some trouble with the current. My webs can conduct that electricity easy. Must be another short in the cable somewhere. stash by the state. Now that one's my favorite. How come? <laughs> Let's just say I had a New York City that no one else knew about. I used to tap into the stadium's mainframe and watch the games through my problem ass. What? No way. It was like sitting courtside for free 99 <laughs> Maybe we can hold on to this prowler discount. You know, at least during the season. No can do, Miles. Gotta get our nosebleeds like everyone else. The tortures are finally good again. <laughs> yeah, that'll definitely work. Honestly, 
We need a whole other photo series just on New York's music. Its impact, the communities it built, its outright brilliance. It's hard to encapsulate in one photo, but... This isn't bad. 